Hello there, welcome to the video. In this tutorial, we are going to be showcasing how you can build your own custom cozy cabin in Blender 3D to use for games, art, and other forms of media. If you at any point feel like the tutorial is going too fast, feel free to pause so that you can catch up and follow the right times. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now, before we even get into modeling, we need to install the building tools add-on. I will have a video linked in the description for you to check out Make sure you go to the timestamp that shows when and how to install building tools. Now, for those who stayed, we are going to start modeling. Once you're in Blender, you want to go to the Building Tools tab, click Add Floors. You can make it whatever size you want, but I opted for the classic rectangle. I then clicked Add Floors, and then you want to uncheck Add Slabs. This way, you only have the floor height and floor width. But instead of adding floors again, what we're going to do is we're going to press the top face press E, then we are going to press S to scale outwards, then once you have it at a good width, you want to press E to extrude upwards. Then you can add a loop cut and divide the top face of your house into two. Grab the middle edge, pull it upwards, and you now have your roof. If you want to make it separate, you can just select the two top roof faces, press P after duplicating them, scale it out, and then extrude downwards. And now you have the base of your house. Moving forward, after we have the base, we can then start detailing. You want to take a square, then you want to scale it outwards so that you have a wooden plank. Then start taking these planks and beams and putting them across the edges of the house. This way you not only give it depth, but it allows the structure to stay up if it were a real house. Then once you've added enough beams, make sure you have areas for windows and doors. You then want to start moving on to the little brick mortars at the bottom. I'm not sure what they are actually, but they are gray. You want to take them and then you want to put them at the base of the beams on the corners of the house and make sure that they extrude upwards enough so that it looks good. Now you can start adding some extra details to the house. You can start by adding a window at the top or on the sides wherever you want it. I opted to go for a bar window with one central bar to make it look nice. I based it off of some windows I found online but you can do whatever you want. I then added my own custom door by using the different planks as a width to then extrude outwards and then make the door. You can make whatever type of door you want or even use the building tools door. But regardless, it's all up to you. Artistic choice is within the creator. As for coloring, I went for a nice tan color for the walls, a dark brown for the wood beams, and then for the door, I opted for a light brown for the actual door itself. I made a darker brown for the frame. And then for the roof, I gave it a nice dark brownish velvet color. I don't know. And for the windows, it's a small tutorial. All you have to do is go in, click the glossy shader, and then turn the actual roughness down until it starts reflecting at the measurement you want. And you now have a cozy cabin. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. If you have any feedback as well as for what I should do next, make sure you also leave that in the comments down below. I appreciate it all. It'll help me keep making videos like this. Now without further ado, don't forget that you're amazing. Peace.